in case you don't know, I'm Planet Earth. Okay, so I'm Planet Earth for this production this morning. And unfortunately, my planet was in a great big mess. Everyone was fighting, everyone was falling out. Nothing was going right. No one has been looking after me. But God said, don't worry, Planet Earth. I have an awesome plan to rescue the Earth and the people that live on you. I'm going to send my son to be born as a tiny baby. How is a tiny baby going to help the mess that my planet is in? God explained, two kinds of people called Mary and Joseph from King David's family will look after him. When he grows up, he will give the world, and we're all going to give ourselves a big hug. So when he grows up, he will give the earth a big hug. And it will be from me, God. God said that his son would remind the humans to love. Let's love. And love one another and listen to God's voice each day. They would overflow with peace. I couldn't wait for God's little world saver to be born. Well, I waited hundreds, upon hundreds, upon hundreds, upon hundreds of years. And still those human beings went astray, just like a flock of sheep. What do sheep say? Bah, bah. But at last, by the light touch of an angel, Mary. <coughs> Come on, Mary. You've always wanted to be Mary. Who was in Nazareth was just busy minding her own business, doing lots of sewing, doing lots of jobs around the house, when suddenly an angel appeared and said, Don't be afraid, Mary. It's the last thing she expected to see. Guess how much God loves you. He loves you so much he wants you to be the mother of his son. Please give him the name Jesus because it means God saves. Mary was so happy she burst into a song of praise to God. <laughs> give me sunshine all the while. It was music to God's ears, I can tell you. But Mary needs a Joseph. Have we got a Josie? Yes. <laughs> but when Joseph heard the incredible news, he shook his head. Could it really be true? That night he tossed and turned in bed, but an angel whispered into his ears in his dreams. Joseph, listen to what Mary has said to you because every word is true. This baby is a gift from God. So Joseph married Mary. <laughs> and just as the baby was due to be born, we need a crash bang and a wallet. One, two, three. Crash bang wallet. A Roman soldier. Do we have a Roman soldier who can march through the streets? Dave. Dave. Okay. A Roman soldier marched down the street. The emperor has announced the census. Everyone must go to their home to be counted. So Mary and Joseph can stop marching now. Need a donkey. Okay. And off they went to Bethlehem, all round there and back again. Soldier. Yeah, soldier, you're telling them which way to go. Don't you need to go. Buzz, buzz, buzz. In fact, 
it was bursting at the seams. And you stand up, Mary and Joseph. There was no room in the inn. All the inns were full. Can I have an innkeeper? Okay, only God knew that someone kind was going to find them somewhere to stay. So the innkeeper said, you can shelter in my stable around the back of my inn. There were lots of animals in the stable. Do we have any animals that want to come in the stable? You can stay in the stable. We need the donkey. Okay. It wasn't a pleasant place to be. It was cold, it was damp, it was wet. But it was a simple place and it was where Jesus was to be born. He's going to sing away in a manger.
was. But now, as planet Earth, I couldn't wait for Jesus to grow up and help humans to love one another and to love God again and listen to God's voice. But that's just what Jesus did. And there was something even more wonderful. He lifted every wrong that everyone had done onto his own broad shoulders and carried them away. Anyone who is sorry and truly sorry will be forgiven. Anyone who wants to can be friends with God forever. So let's celebrate the birth of Jesus, our Saviour. This is our baby. He is the gift of love to us today.
Just give me a hot towel. Let's do a big round of applause.